It is the agenda for the 21st century you're living in today. For a brave new world where everything that you cherished and held true will no longer exist. It's right here, traffic backing up as people continue evacuating the Florida coast. More than one and a half million people under orders right now to get out. Business after business, boarding up windows and doors here to protect their livelihood. All public schools in Miami-Dade County, Broward County, and Palm Beach counties are closed tomorrow and Friday. The stores were uh, selling out of water and food items at gas stations. People have been lining up uh, since yesterday, filling up their tanks. They're finding this. Our Adam Weiner just tweeted out this picture. That's a gas station in Jupiter that he stopped out stopped at and it actually ran out of gas as he was trying to fill up. Catastrophic devastation in Haiti and parts of Cuba. In parts of western Haiti, stunned residents are wading through the remnants of Hurricane Matthew. The storm's torrential rains flooded the streets of Lekai overnight and left many people homeless. Hurricane Matthew only struck the far eastern tip of Cuba, but where it did make landfall, the impact was devastating. This is the historic coastal town of Baracoa. The city is without electricity and cut off from the rest of Cuba. All the surrounding roads have been washed away. In Haiti, the damage is more widespread. The United Nations is calling it the worst humanitarian crisis to hit the country. Yeah, the storm continues to move closer to our state. There are now some forecasts that put a direct hit on Florida. Based on the current forecast, the center of the storm will be close to Cape Canaveral on fl Friday morning. Regardless if there's a direct hit or not, the impacts will be devastating. A creepy looking satellite image of Hurricane Matthew with a face reminiscent of a human skull has sparked a lot of attention online this week. Hurricane Matthew moving closer to the United States as it leaves a path of destruction across the Caribbean. Estimates now show a direct hit on the East Coast could affect more than 15 million people. And as Hurricane Matthew makes its way towards the United States, Florida's governor said the state can be facing its biggest evacuation ever. Governor Rick Scott says at least 17 deaths in the Caribbean have been blamed on the Category 3 storm heading for the Sunshine State. The National Hurricane Center says Matthew can strengthen back up to Category 4 by Thursday evening. That's when it's expected to hit near Florida's Atlantic coast. Well, residents are being advised to take all warnings, instructions, and updates regarding the storm very seriously. About a dozen people died as the storm hit the Caribbean. Now Matthew is headed for Florida and could make landfill in less than 24 hours. Meanwhile, in the Pacific, Typhoon Chaba is battering South Korea and Japan. At least three people have been killed and thousands of homes are without power. And these two storms, are they a coincidence or signs of a new trend in our environment? How rare is it to have two storms on the globe of this magnitude potentially doing some horrific damage? Extraordinarily rare, Ed. Welcome to Climate Instability, brought to you by fossil fuels. We've never seen, I've never seen in over three decades, a Category 5, the equivalent. Uh, earlier this week, Chaba had sustained winds of 165 miles an hour with gusts of 200 miles an hour. Ed, that rips roofs right off homes. Now let's turn to South Korea, where Typhoon Chaba has battered southern parts of the country and reports say at least five people were killed on Wednesday. The typhoon caused a flooding in the country's main port, industrial cities and major factories, and dozens of flights in and out of the resort island of Jeju, which is a popular destination with Chinese tourists, have been cancelled. The country's largest port in the city of Busan is closed for the second consecutive day.
mystery in Baldwin County. What's killing birds at the mouth of Weeks Bay? Professional wildlife photographer Cynthia Donaski has been taking pictures of birds here for years. We've never seen anything like this. The deaths of more than a dozen birds near the mouth of the bay has Donaski concerned. The thought that this could be a biological cause really saddens me. The thought that it might be human made angers me beyond words. We counted 17 dead birds near the County Road 1 boat launch, including seagulls, brown pelicans, and great blue herons. Antibiotic resistant superbugs are killing thousands of people in hospitals across the country and infecting millions. But the epidemic has largely gone untracked. In many states, like California, hospitals aren't even required to report when superbugs are the cause of a patient's death. Without the proper data, health experts worry that the problem will only continue getting worse. On the federal level, there are no laws requiring hospitals to report this kind of information. Attorneys in New York have obtained documents under the State Freedom of Information Act, which reveal New York police have been targeting the Black Lives Matter movement. Well, a massive border surge is underway. 1,000 illegal aliens flooding across the border every single day. Now, uh, human traffickers are fearing why? Because human traffickers are fearing the great ball of Trump. Jim Hoft, the Gateway Pundit, reports that illegal immigrant smugglers are telling illegals to come to the United States now before Donald Trump becomes president. Italy's Coast Guard has rescued more than 4,600 migrants and recovered at least 28 bodies in a rescue operation off the coast of Libya. And the NYPD is in the middle of controversy yet again. Out of approximately 35,800 officers in New York City, not one of the officers are wearing body cameras, despite a 2013 ruling to do so. Most recent posting that... A hit list posted on Instagram that's getting a lot of attention. They're featuring a, a clown. He's a pretty scary looking clown. It's a creepy looking clown and no one is laughing. Certainly not school districts, including Elk Grove Unified, that sent out 75,000 emails today. We went ahead and sent actually a message from the superintendent to all staff and to all parents throughout the district, letting them know we are aware of the situation. We are monitoring the situation. Security patrols have been beefed up today at schools across the district. Elk Grove High School is one of more than half a dozen schools targeted by pranksters today in Northern California, ranging from Modesto to Fairfield. Especially since they're coming to Fairfield High, saying that they're either going to kill or kidnap people in specifically actually terrifies me because I have friends. The scary pictures have been showing up from coast to coast. I'm just freaking out because I'm going all over Instagram and all I see is, oh, clowns, 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 you know? How does this, how does this, how does something like this go worldwide? School 
Well, Deutsche Bank needs a miracle to survive the damning, that's a damning verdict of an expert who has predicted the trouble there. According to Lana Clements for the Express, they report there that Deutsche Bank faces collapse and will drag down the German and Eurozone economies with it. An Iraqi lobbying group is using the Justice Against Sponsors of Terrorism Act to, as a precedent to push the Iraqi parliament to pass a similar bill that would allow Iraqis to sue the United States for its invasion of Iraq. Take a look at this picture. The question, what is it? Yes, a space mystery is now unfolding as alien hunters are claiming to catch a bizarre UFO on the International Space Station live stream. Congratulations. Would you like to hold your newborn baby? Excellent. That'll be $39.35. A Utah family learned of the unexpected cost that their hospital charged them to hold their child after giving birth. Ryan Grassley shared a photo of the couple's hospital bill on Reddit after opening it to their surprise. The itemized bill shows that the new parents were charged $39.35 for skin-to-skin -skin contact after a C-section. According to the Cleveland Clinic, snuggling with skin-to-skin -skin contact has important health benefits in the first hours and lets you and your baby get to know each other. The internet was just taken over by a global monopoly over the weekend and no one even noticed. No crosses, no Bibles, no religious displays of any kind in Henry County and schools there. That's an email that went out to educators and parents and now many of them are outraged. Fox 5's Denise Dillon spoke to Henry County school officials who say that they had no choice in the matter. If we let God back in school and back in the United States of America, he could change it. Josh Moss is angry about an email telling teachers at Henry County schools that they can't display any symbols of their religion. The memo points out no crosses, angels, Bibles, and he's not the only one upset. I just think that you should be able to wear what you want to wear or portray what you want to portray. Well, it has officially begun. The U.S. military is now paying for sex changes of soldiers with your hard-earned money, your tax dollars. Now, on Monday, the U.S. military began footing the bill for soldiers who wanted to have a sex change. And the program could cost American taxpayers, yes, you and me, up to $8.4 million a year. Now more details are emerging on the deployment of the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, or THAAD, to South Korea. According to multiple government sources, one of the anti-missile battery units at Fort Bliss will be deployed to Songju County in Gyeongsangbuk-do province. The U.S. currently operates five THAAD batteries, one in Guam and the others at the Army base in Texas. Seoul and Washington plan to hold deeper discussions over the plan during their 48th annual security consultative meeting on October 20th. Though the original schedule was to have the missile defense system in South Korea by the end of next year, U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Daniel Russell expressed willingness to speed up the process in light of North Korea's pace of missile and nuclear developments. Recently, a senior Russian official, Ambassador to the United Kingdom, Alexander Kadamenko, he said, quote, the established world order is undergoing a foundational shakeup with the Crimea, Ukraine, and Brexit. He went on to call for the dismantling of NATO and the European Union. And he said, quote, Russia can now fight a conventional war in Europe and win. Russia is the only country that will remain relevant forever. Any other country is dispensable, and that includes the United States. We are endgame now. Uh, we've got the chairman joint chief saying prepare for war with Russia as big as World War II nuclear war. What the hell is going on? Bill Clinton was heckled during a rally in Philadelphia today. A woman held up a shirt calling the former president a rapist. Take Bill Clinton, it is now revealed, committed a crime so horrendous that the sentence is actually life in prison if he is convicted. Now, according to Danny Gold at Liberty Writers News, they report that, yes, this is what we have all been waiting for. It has now officially become apparent that Bill Clinton did commit 
one of the most horrific crimes in U.S. history, the same day that he met with Loretta Lynch on her private jet. Now, according to reports, one of Bill Clinton's most trusted legal advisors leaked that the former president intentionally, intentionally ambushed Lynch that day and blackmailed her into promising not to charge Hillary Clinton for her email servers. Okay, think about that for a second. The Clintons have so much dirt on everybody. I mean, they are worse than, you know, J. Edgar Hoover with his notorious, you know, file on everybody. The FBI director and Hillary Clinton have just been caught in the biggest scandal, arguably, in U.S. history. According to Liberty writer Zanny Gold, they report that there was absolutely, absolutely no way that Hillary Clinton could possibly be more corrupt than she already is. Uh, he writes, well, maybe, maybe, maybe he was dead wrong. He says, remember how the FBI clearly violated a ton of laws during their email investigation, including including giving immunity, giving it out like candy to Hillary's lawyers and, and, and a co-conspirator, Cheryl Mills, uh, all the people surrounding her. Well, it apparently gets much worse. Now, they state here that FBI Director Comey actually authorized his own agents, authorized his own agents to destroy all the laptops immediately after the evidence was reviewed. So if you recall, remember that, that story that we did about Hillary Clinton and her staff smashing all of her Blackberries, all of her phones, destroying evidence? So the FBI, after the interviews, they destroyed all the laptops as well. So there wouldn't be any record of the truth to the crimes committed by the FBI in the investigation of Hillary Clinton. It, we talk about being a nation of laws. There is no law any longer in this country. The very FBI charged with enforcing the federal laws, enforcing national security of politicians, just basically throwing it out the window. Contractor at the National Security Agency has been arrested. Well, it is now 100% confirmed the Pentagon paid half a billion dollars for fake terror videos okay remember all those conspiracy theories of these fake beheading videos yeah they were all over everyone was talking about it well now crofton black and abigail fielding smith of the bureau of investigative journalism at the daily beast they broke the story here the name of the firm is called bell pottinger and they write that their output included short tv segments made in the style of Arabic news networks and fake insurgent videos. So fake Arabic news and fake insurgent videos. Holy cow. So which ones are real? 